Hey guys, well, I am back in my car. The only place I can seem to find solace during this quarantine. <laughs> so, um, here we are, and we've got some great questions today. Um, the first question that we're going to answer today is, why do we even need to be saved? What are we being saved from? And it's an excellent question. The Bible tells us that we're born into sin. Okay, so that's number one. We're born into sin and in that not one of us is righteous or good. That literally we are corrupt. And, you know, people struggle with that. Like, but I'm a good person. I do good things and I love people. And that might be true. Um... I'm a good person too, I think. I, you know, help people. I try and do my best every single day to love. Um, but the truth is, is that the word of God says that not one of us is righteous or good. And um, when you really think about it and break it down, he's talking about everything from you know, the thing, the thoughts that we think, the pollution in our minds. Think about just the pollution in our brains and the things we think every day and the negative thoughts that run through our heads. The things that we think about other people when we judge them consciously or unconsciously. Um, you know, the way we, uh, I mean, you know, we've all told lies. We've all told lies. I mean, big ones, little ones, we've all told lies. And, um, even when someone says, Hey, you like my new haircut? And you're like, yeah, it looks really good. But inside you're like, Oh gosh, what did she do? You know, that's sin. Um, <laughs> so God is a perfect, perfect, omnipotent, omnipresent, excellent God. And he cannot allow anything imperfect into his blinding, perfect, excellent light and his perfect kingdom. So the only way we can enter heaven after we die, um, which is another aspect of our sin, you know, the only reason we die is because of our sin, um, is to be washed clean by the blood of Christ. And I'm going to get that into that in another question. But to be washed perfectly clean, our debt fully paid on the cross and uh, in full, that price was paid. And we can know that the power of Jesus's blood saves us eternally. This is also why repentance is so important because a repentive heart is a heart that is beautiful to God. So I know repenting is difficult because it asks us to admit that we're imperfect. It asks us to really search our own hearts and see where we fall short and to recognize within ourselves our unholiness and um really the only the holy spirit is the only agent that can truly bring us to our knees and have us repent for our wrongdoings and for our sin and it's important that we get to a place of recognition that we're sinners, uh, imperfect, broken people, uh, so that we can fully accept Jesus Christ as our Savior and our Lord. Because without being able to fully come to you know, to grips with the fact that we are imperfect and in desperate need of Jesus's uh, sacrifice that he made for us, it's going to be almost impossible 
to surrender our souls to our King and our Lord and our Savior. So repent. It's a good thing to repent. And repentance is basically just saying, I see this and I'm sorry. I see that I am wicked. You know, it's a big word. But I know I'm I'm wicked. I mean, I am wicked, you know. Uh, it can be the smallest, most unassuming little thing. Like, for instance, I say all the time, sometimes when I'm praying for somebody that I find it really hard to pray for, I can feel my spirit rebelling. I can feel it saying, don't, you know... Oh, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want that person to be free. I mean, how terrible is that? That's wicked. And, you know, um, I know I'm not alone, so I'm not afraid to admit it. I am not perfect, and nobody is perfect. Not one of us. We all need a Savior, so that's what we need to be saved from ourselves. We need to be saved from ourselves. <laughs> 